All right, Pitt man Matt Mark, Allen Barnes here with Garen, the head coach Jeff Caldwell. Big win tonight over East Mac, 31-14. Coach, what was the key to victory tonight? Just uh, fighting through adversity. Mm -hmm. Fighting through adversity. They, their team was fighting hard, and uh, I know Coach Force, she has those guys, you know, playing hard as they can. And our kids playing hard. You know, we had these stakes and penalties all over the field on both sides. But, you know, just fighting through adversity, you know. And I, yeah. think, I think that was one of the biggest things. Uh, the team didn't get down. Yep. You know, when things would go around, you know, we just had to keep coaching them up regardless of what the outcome was on different plays. You know, and just keep, you know, just, just try to keep pushing them along. Yeah. And I'll tell you, that coaching uh, consistently was one of the things that we noticed on the sideline tonight. Uh, talk about your coaching staff a little bit, how they've uh, performed this year. Well, they've been, they've been coming along. It's a new staff that, you know, we're putting together, and they've been coming along. They've been working hard, and, you know, getting to know the kids. And I think our biggest thing is really just, you know, knowing the kids other than football players. Mm -hmm. When we know them other than football players, just as human beings, then we can really know what makes them tick, how we can help them, you know, to become better players and better teammates and everything. Yeah. But the coaches are really working hard and they're you know, really trying to make you know, everything that, uh, that we're putting in, you know, work. But, you know, we, you know, we're going up against some real good teams you know, in our conference. You know, and, you know, and even considering East Mech, you know, they're a good team. They've had some losses, but they still get out there and they fight and kids out there playing on. So. Yes, they do. Well said, Coach. Now, Antonio Smith, dynamite game. What can you say about that? Um, he's a uh, tireless work. Mm -hmm. Tyler's work or whatever you ask them. You ask him to play quarterback, running back, doesn't make a difference. I mean, he's, he's probably one of our better defensive players that he hadn't been playing that much defense because we've used him so much on offense. Right. But, um, you know, he's a phenomenal, you know, talent. Uh, he comes from a great family, great mom and dad and everything. And they're, you know, they're, they support him, you know, thoroughly. Um, as far as parents, mm -hmm. Tony, you know, he has a lot of love. You know, he has a lot of love. And he's, and he's a lovable kid. He's a happy kid. Yeah. That, that loves doing well and he loves seeing his teammates do well. So that's one of the things he pushes himself and he also pushes his team for a young guy. Very good. Yeah. I'm very impressed with him. Now your defense tonight really did a, a good job holding that East Mac spread offense to 14 points. What can you say about that? Well, they just seem kind of bend and break the um, you know, They came up with some good plays. I mean, the tall receiver prestige. He had, you know, he had some good plays on the that had to watch him. And anytime he's on the field, he's a good score. Notice that not only he's tall, he's a fast kid. He's, yeah. a, he's a competitive and a good athlete. So, um, you know, and that other, the other uh, quarterback is real good. They, they keep playing hard. Going against that spread, you know, since we played other teams in our conference, ran a lot of spread. Right. It kind of got us ready for it. Yeah. But, you know, you're never really ready until you're down on that play. That's right. what I mean. So the kids just answered, you know, they answered the call and just played hard as they could. And, we, you know, we could take advantage. We got a couple, uh, we got an interception tonight, we got a fumble tonight. So, we got some turnovers and everything, and those are the ones we had to create because East Mech wasn't giving us anything. Right. And, you know, and, and now, like I said, they, they played a good efficient game, and, uh, that, and that spread really worked good. They got some good passes off on us. Mm -hmm. um, not a lot of runs, but they were very efficient in the passing game. And, you know, we missed some assignments, but some play they just made good plays on us. Right. You know, at the end of the day, they just made some good plays. All right, exactly. Well said, Coach. Um, what's going to be the key going forward for you guys to build off of this and possibly even, you know, get in the playoffs? Well, we just have to, you know, have to fight through. We have to, you know, stay together as a team, you know, and as, as you see our, our, our kids, really, they stay locked up. They, you know, they, they yeah. intertwine. Yeah. They come out intertwined, and they'll be intertwined when we go in there and we do our prayers and everything. Mm -hmm. So they just, all, we're always locked. So we got to just stay locked up together. As long as we stay together and stay locked up, you know, our possibilities, you know, uh, are endless for us. Exactly. You know, we can, you know, we, we can go out there. And, and, you know, this high school football. You know, different things happen different weeks, and we just have to, you know, we have to be ready. We have to be prepared, and that's because I know all the other teams in our conference are prepared, and they're good teams. So, yeah, we just have to come prepared and ready, and you know, play as hard as we can, and hope some things go our way too. All right. Well, that's well said. I agree with all that, Coach. Great job tonight, man. Congratulations. Thank you, Matt. Thank Appreciate you, Appreciate the time, Thank you. Man. Appreciate you coming back. Good time.